A teenager is in the hospital tonight, one day after being shot multiple times while police investigate if his shooting is gang related. Miami Dade School Superintendent says enough is enough. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight at Nicholas Children's Hospital with more. Peter? Runabay police say Martin Santiago was shot three times and is here in the intensive care unit. Family members have been at his side. Now, friends, neighbors, and the school superintendent are all alarmed. Police are looking into whether this was gang related. I feel bad about it because I know the child. Josephine Lucas's neighbor, 14 year old Martin Anthony Santiago, was shot multiple times here in this bloody spot outside his family's apartment in an area in Florida City known as the Alley. I feel so bad and, and really bad upset about this because I got kids myself. A bullet also struck this car. I mean, my grandson is riding his scooter along the front of this car. A so, split second, he probably would have been one of them that got hit. It happened just after 7 Monday night. Santiago was airlifted to Nicholas Children's Hospital. I think he got shot for nothing. After speaking to witnesses and bystanders on the scene, they, they're seeing, it seems to, to point towards that this might have been gang related. Now Florida City Police are looking for the shooter. Recently we've had some issues in, in South Dade as, as, as a whole with some of these shootings with the younger kids and anytime a child is shot, it's a travesty. It takes a toll on all of us. The Miami-Dade School Superintendent says in the past year, 60 public school students have been shot and 21 have lost their lives. You can count my tenure in years. Sadly, also count it in terms of the number of children that have become victims of gun violence and those who have been killed by cowardly, murderous bullets in our community. How many will it take before a community wakes up and rises up against this pervasive, unacceptable, incomprehensible carnage. It really wasn't gang related. While some of Santiago's friends insist this shooting was not tied to gangs, they hope police will find the gunman. If it was your family, you'll have something done about it. Now, law enforcement sources, police are looking into whether this stemmed from a dispute between rival gangs in Florida City and Naranjo. Right now, police do not have a good description to release of the shooter, but they do say they have some good leads. If you can help, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. We're live at Nicholas Children's Hospital, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Peter. More